Alright guys, welcome back to your 28th Intermediate Java tutorial and in this tutorial I want to start talking about networking and eventually I'm going to be building applications that connect to a server and uh, utilize stream sockets and going into some really complex networking but for now since we're just beginning networking and this is our first video uh, concerning that topic I'm just going to build a very simple applet which basically is like kind of a uh, it's built in your browser of course and it doesn't do a whole lot it just says what website do you want to visit and you pick a website the new boston.org it takes you to that or you can pick another one and it takes you to that so again this isn't really in-depth networking but for just the purposes of jumping into networking and getting our feet wet I think this is going to be a really good example just to get you started so the very first thing we need to do is we need to build this web page right here before we program any Java. So again, remember that whenever you make an applet and make it accessible to everyone on the internet, you basically build an HTML file and then link it to your Java class. That's essentially what you do. So go ahead and open Notepad++, not Eclipse, although I think you could write an Eclipse. And uh, let's go ahead and start making this HTML file. We won't write any like standard XHTML. Just go ahead and make a very basic. Oh, and by the way, probably should have mentioned this. If you guys don't know any HTML whatsoever, um, I have videos on my website that you can learn from, but this is like the most basic website you guys will ever see. The only thing it has is a body. So let's go ahead and add that. I won't even add a head. And the applet code. So actually, I want to save this right now because the color of black and white is just ticking me off. So go ahead and put file, save as, and I actually made a folder on my desktop called test, and I'll just name this, uh, what can I name this, bucky.html, name it something.html and you'll be good. Alright, so anyways, I want to build my applet class, so applet, or applet code getting ahead of myself here now the first thing you need to do is you need to put your code parameter in of course whenever we write this applet in Java what is the class gonna be named so I'll just name it Bucky's sites dot class now of course we didn't write this yet and we're probably going to be doing it in the upcoming tutorials but for now I just want to focus on um, this main web page so the other thing you do is give your applet a width and I'll just put it like 500 and a height of 3, I don't know, 250. Alright, looks good enough. So now our applet tags are taken care of. Now here is how we're going to set this up. You see that we have an applet basically in, we have two main websites in it. The new Boston.org and my Twitter. You actually can put as many websites as you want in it but I just put two because you know if we just have one then we couldn't even have a selection it would just be like you know what are you gonna choose this one or this one so you know put at least two websites in there and the websites themselves don't really matter it's the code that is really important so for hello caps lock where did you come from for the parameter we're gonna have four different parameters which consist of two different titles and two different URL locations. So the title for this one would be the new boston.org and the URL would be the address which is http uh, you know colon backslash backslash www all that good stuff. So that's what the parameters are going to consist of. So parameter one the name is title zero and the value since this is the title we'll just put the new Boston dot org. All right, now for uh, should I do the other title or the address? I'll just do the address. Actually, I'm very lazy, so let me just go ahead and copy this. Now the name for the second parameter is address zero, and the value for this is. that there you go the full URL which you would type into your browser to take you to the new boston.org simple enough so now let me just go ahead and copy these two and I'll set up the other website for Twitter so of course instead of the name being title zero the Twitter one 
has the value of one. So pretty much each website has an identification number. If you wanted to put, uh, you know, 13 websites on there, on your 13th set of parameters, it would be title 13, address 13, so on and so forth. But anyways, the value for my Twitter is just something like Bucky's Twitter and the value for the address, which is the URL of the Twitter is HTTP. Actually, I'm just going to go to my Twitter because I'm too lazy to type all this. Just copy that and paste that shiz right in there. So if you guys can't see that uh, URL, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and put in Google or anything. The key of this tutorial isn't to get the same URLs as me. It's pretty much just to get the concept of what we're doing. And that is we're setting up an HTML file and we're also going to be building an applet which pulls information from these parameters and utilizes it to, of course, as you could see, make your browser go to these websites. So again, we're not really connecting to a server through like any complex way. What we're doing is just pulling information from an XHTML file and tricking our browser to go to those websites whenever we click on this list right here. So there you have it. That's what we have to look forward to. Now that you got now that you have your HTML file set up, we can now begin building the Java in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.